amable. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our One Taiji Lecture Awake public lecture from the European Taiji Culture Center. The center is dedicated to the dissemination of Chinese traditional culture overseas. The lectures are given basically every week. We will provide public lectures on traditional culture, such as traditional Chinese medicine, Tai Chi, Chinese arts and technology, etc. You are welcome to join us and also welcome to invite more friends to our public lectures. My name is Lei. I'm the moderator of today's lecture. I'm based in Brussels, Belgium. Mrs. Tong Qing Mei is our technical supporter today. Thank you, Ms. Tong. The topic of today's lecture is Sun Style 38 Step Tai Ji Quan by Master Terry Ye. Terry Ye is the founder and chief instructor of De Yin Tai Ji Quan Institute, of chairman of the British Health Qi Gong Association. Today, he will introduce us the steps 23 to 30 of Sun Style 38 Step Tai Ji Quan. Today's lecture is 16 minutes. So first, I will give the floor to Master Terry Yip to explain the Tai Chi Quan. And then the last 50 or 10 minutes is for the question and answers. So Master Ye, the floor is yours now. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Ms. Zhang. And thank you, uh, Ms. Tong, for helping to organize the uh, uh, technical part as well. Thank you very much. Uh, welcome back, everybody, uh, and uh, I hope you had uh, enjoyed the last four sessions and working hard, practicing with the recording uh, made available on the European Tai Chi Center. So, yes, uh, today we're going to carry on with the practice uh, from what we left off the last time. Uh, before we start our form practice or learning, let's get through some simple warm-up and then we will actually, I will take everybody through a few times what we've learned uh, in the last four sessions before we get on to the practice of uh, the new movement. Okay, so everybody, let's get ready. All right. Take a step to your left, show the worth. And then turn. One, two, three, four. And up, five, six, seven. Eight. Again, two, two, three, four. Back to the center. Five, six, seven, eight. Build your head, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and shoulders. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Reverse two, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, okay. 
and the waist. Gently turn and swing your arms. Okay, relax. Okay, good. Cross your fingers. Lift. Push. Then bend forward. Look ahead. Then go down as much as you can. Turn your palms over. Come up. Curl your back, starting from the lower back, the waist, the chest, leg. Push. Bend. Down. Turn palms. Come up. Again, push, bend, down, turn palms up. Once more. Bend. Down, turn, up, clean, right. and then raise your left hand, stretch, open. Stretch. 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 Open. Turn to look behind. Put your hands in the back and the front. Then open the other side. Come back. Relax. Bend your knees. Put your hands on your knees and just gently rub your knees. Reverse. Excellent. And then squat as much as you can. Up. Squat. Keep your hands on your knees for a bit of support. Up. Down, up, down, up, once more, down, and up. Okay, good. Open, cross your fingers, shift weight to your right. Step out with the left foot, reach and touch your toes. 
Turn back. Step in. Open. Cross fingers and shift weight. Step. Touch down. And then come back. Open. Shift weight. Touch down. Back. Once more. Touch down. And relax. Good. And fingers together again. Rotate your wrist and your ankles. And the other ankle. Okay, relax. Okay, good. Right, let's gently go through the... Uh, parts that we've learned in the last four weeks. Now do it gently, just try to jog our memory on the movement. Okay, good. So get yourself ready. Mm, I need to uh, get my position right so that people can see. Okay, good. Heels together. Toes apart. Get yourself ready. Lanjai Kai Show Bandian Tishou Ban Lan Ban Ban La Tui Yu Fung Su Bi Bao Hu Fei Shan Kai Shou Ke Shou Bao Nian Hu Second time. Third time. Fourth time. San Tong Bay. Need to move back slightly. Yu Nu Twen Saw Second one Gao Tan Ma Yo Chi Jiao. Do Chi Jiao.
Okay. Okay. Hopefully, it jogs your memory a little bit. And let's do that again once more before we get on to the next move. Okay. Get ready, everyone. Heels together, toes apart. Qi shu. Lan zha yi. Tai shou. He shou. Dan bian. 提手向势，白鹤两翅，开合楼西凹步，手挥劈啊，单蓝锤。如风似壁，抱虎推山，开合倒撵猴。Second one. 很 small four， 三通背，玉女穿梭。高探马，右起脚，左起脚。Good. Let's go next one. The next one, if you have done Tai Chi before. Then you shouldn't find this very difficult. The next one is Yun Shou, waving hands like clouds. Now, different Tai Chi style, uh, they have different characteristics, and um, and different sort of a same name movements, but could be done slightly differently. But it seems that waving hands are pretty much similar. Uh, therefore. Uh, you wouldn't find it very different to other styles of Tai Chi if you did any. For example, in Yang style Tai Chi, which is very very similar to Sun style, when we circle, Yang style is again same thing like this. The only difference uh, to Sun style is Yang style tends to actually pass the top hand, pass the front of the body. With the palm facing out, facing in. Sorry, but with Sun style, it's always facing out.、Uh, I always put it down as washing the car, wash on, and then wash it off. You can see here, the hands are constantly facing out. There's no rotation, like Yang style Tai Chi. Okay, so let's just try the movements first. All right. Good. Now we finish off from this angle. My back over to you this way. So therefore,、uh, we will go this way and then the other side. So I will be your mirror image. Okay. That means that I am doing the opposite to you. However, because it's on screen, so you should be doing it to the same side where I go. 
Okay, so although it's opposite, it looks like I'm moving, for example, like here, I'm moving my right arm, but in fact, it is your left that we're doing. Okay, so quite easy. First one first is the left arm, gently circle down, past the front of the abdomen, to go up, just finish off slightly below your right elbow and then carry on circle up past your face as your right arm circle down, start to circle down. Do the same thing as what the right, uh, left handers do, is pass the abdomen and go to the other side. And then circle up and down, past the face and abdomen to the other side. Up and down, past the face and the abdomen to the other side. And then again, up and down to the other side. Okay, good. So it is quite easy. Okay, let's do that again. Ready? So one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Four, we do four, three cycles. One, two, three, four. That's three cycles. But that's not the end. We do actually half more. One, back to here, two. Okay, so it's quite easy. Now, what about the step? After we have kicked, okay, for example, we kick with the left foot. Okay, we kick with the left foot. What all we have to do is to put the foot down as to a circle. Okay, but how do we coordinate? Watch me first, okay? Like this. After kicking, and step down as we circle the hand past the abdomen, one. And then we're going to step sideways as the hand goes up. Below the elbow, two. Shift weight, three. Step in, four. Now, when we step in, the feet are parallel. And it is about four to six inches apart. Okay? Like this. All right? You can be a bit narrower, but make sure it's not too wide. Okay? Just about one. If you don't know how Y is inches, then you say one, no more than two fists in this. Okay, so as we circle, let's do that together, all right? So imagine we have just finished kicking. Come down, step, circle down, one. Circle up, step out, sideways, two. Shift way, three. Four, step in. Circle one, shift ways. Circle two, step out. Circle three, circle four. Let's do that one more time. One, two, three, four. Good. Okay, so three times. But remember, we did at the end, we did half of it, okay? So when we finish off the third time, we still need to do one more, one and two. The only difference is this time we don't step, we just keep the hands moving. But the stepping at the moment, at one, two, one and two, no stepping out, okay? Instead, we step out at four, okay, good. Let's do that once more. Kicking, lift, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Remember half, one and two. Good, all right. Now I'm gonna do 
a mirror image, right? So that you can see, all right, from this side. Okay, so I'm going to kick with this leg, which will be your left. Okay, to that angle. Ready? Kick. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, no step, two. Good. So remember, three cycles of one, two, three, four. Three times. And then the adding on one and two. Okay, at the end. But remember, if you notice, every time is two and four, we step. Either step out or step in. Okay, two steps out, four step in. But at the first cycle, followed by one and two, but that half of one and two, number two, we don't step. Okay? Let's get through that again, all right? Before we get on to the next posture. Are you ready? Uh, kick. One, two, three, four. One, two. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. Excellent. Okay, well done. So hopefully <laughs> you get an idea, but don't worry if you can't get it straight away. You can do it, uh, hopefully, with the recording when it's available to consolidate your practice. Okay? Next posture, xia shi, creep down. From here, how do we get to creep down? Now, remember, uh, we finish off having the hands on this side, but my back to you, which is your right side. Now, I'm going to be your mirror. Watch me first, okay? So from here, remember, one and two to here without stepping, and then three... The hand, the lower hand goes up, but this time the top hand on the side is not coming down. So when we go one, two, and then this hand sort of stops for a second. And the other hand though, which is your left, carries on past your face, and then go to the other side, okay? But as, it go, as we go to the other side, what do we do? We turn and step out like this. Okay, watch me. One, two. But what about the back arm, which is the back hand, which is your right? Is it really not moving? It, it, it does move towards the end. How does it move? Simple. You just simply turn the palm over to the top as you step out, as you're finishing stepping out. Okay? Let's do that together. Ready? This is two here. Three, four. Can you see? Instead of this, I turn the back hand over. Four. And then I bend the back arm, push the back arm up forward, and I draw the front to where? To the front of my left abdomen. Okay? Four, five, da, follow step. Okay, we finish off like this. Can you see? Good. All right, five. All right, let's do that together. Ready? One, uh, three, one and two, three and four, five. Good. Then we sit back. We raise the lower hand and replace the top hand with the lower hand like this. Replace it. But I can't replace it with this hand in the way. So what do I do? 
the top hand here, as the butt back hand rise up and replace it, the front hand just simply draws back to the side of the hip, and the other one just replaces. What about the step? What about the foot? Simple. As we replace and withdraw, I just make a step. But please remember, when we step, we don't transfer all the weight forward. We're still keeping it pretty much at the back. I would say about 60, 40. Maximum 70% of the body weight, 30% in the front. Okay? Very easy. People go like, no. Okay? Just step out on the foot, and that's it. The other one, finish off on the side. Okay? Good. Let's do that together. Ready? This is two, three, four, fold, replay, draw, and push. Okay. Sit back, six, replace, and step, seven. Good. Excellent. Okay, so here, on the side. Okay, good. Relax. Okay, good. So as we draw the lower hand, you can see the, the thumb is more or less pointing on your thigh. Okay, slightly in front, slightly in front of the middle part. All right, the thumb like this. Good. All right, let's do that again. Ready? This is number two, three, and four, five. Six, seven, good, okay, good. Let's do that together. This time I'm gonna do at the right place, all right? Are you ready? So it is two, three, four, five. Six, sit back, swap seven. Good. Okay, good. This is crib down. Now it's quite different to young style Tai Chi. Young style Tai Chi, crib down, step down. This is a crib down in young style Tai Chi. But this is a Sun style Tai Chi trip down. Okay, so this is a slight difference. All right, good. So let's put the two together, the waving hands and the crib down before we get on to the next posture. Okay, so remember we finish off kicking. Yun Shou, one, step down, abdomen. Step out two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Once more, one, two, three, four. Half, one, no step, two, three, left hand, step, Four, turn the right palm. And then push and draw, follow step five. Sit back six, step out, seven. Excellent, relax. Okay, so let's do that one more time from here. Two, okay because I think I might have gone out of the uh, screen, so we'll do it from this side. Imagine we have just finished off the waving hands on this side. Let's see. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sit down. 
Okay, good. Relax. Okay, good. This is script down. Next one <laughs> is standing on one leg. That name suggests we have to be doing a one-legged stance. And so how do we get onto the one-legged stand? It's quite easy. Remember, we were sitting up like this in the back. So what we need to do then is quite easy, is we could turn the front toe slightly out to help us get a bit of a balance. So you can turn a bit of your front toes, move your weight forward, step in, but without touching the floor, and then raise your knees. Now remember, as you raise, Unlike Yang style, where the toes is pointing down, in Sun style, the toes is tilted up. Okay, so it is quite easy. Yeah, let's try that together. Ready? Just the steps. Are you ready? So you can twist your toes slightly. Move your weight forward. Step in. Rise up. What about the next one? We do exactly the same, but this time we step down slightly forward, bend your front knees and move your weight forward. Raise your back heel and then stand up again with the toes tilted upwards. Okay, so it's quite easy, yeah? What about the hand? The hand is quite easy. So let's do that together. Hands and the steps together. I'm gonna to talk you through. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. Remember, we will do with the hand in the front, the other one by the hip. Okay, are you ready? So as one turn and move the way forward, we drop the front hand down, to the side of the hip, relax the right hand, and I step in. As I step out, I raise together with the right hand next to my ears. And the other one here, the left hand is just naturally rest by the leg. And then step down, trans away forward, drop the right hand and swap it over with the left. Okay, okay. So you can see here, when I bring up my top hand, in Yang style Tai Chi, my hand is lovely and rounded. The other hand is like this, pressing down. But in Sun style Tai Chi, this hand is like you're holding a phone. You're answering a phone, talking to somebody on the phone. The other one just naturally rests pointing down next to your leg with a small gap. And that's all. Okay? So it's quite easy to do. All right? So we do this twice, remember? Let's do that together. All right? Good. From here, so move forward, lower the front hand. Step in and up, raise the right arm. Place the right hand next to your ear. Then step down, bend your legs first, okay? Move your way forward, drop the left hand, stand up with the left. Okay, good. <laughs> So it's quite easy, isn't it? <laughs> okay, good. So this is the standing up on one leg. All right. So the hand is just simply from here, drops and replace. Drops, replace. Okay. Now you may ask, why, why do we look like we're holding on to a phone? <laughs> when we're doing Tai Chi, yeah? 
Now, when we bring the hands closer, this is a unique characteristic of Sun style Tai Chi. Because I don't know if you remember, I mentioned that Sun style Tai Chi actually combined three different types of internal martial arts, including Xing Yi Chuan. And this is quite a unique posture, probably taken, the essence was taken from Xing Yi Chuan. Although it's not exactly the same move as you will see in some of the uh, moves in Xing Yi, but the characteristics and principles are similar, okay? Maybe in the future when we get some time and we can get a bit more, you can say, uh, intensive or more in-depth training, then uh, we'll explore a bit more about why is it like this or why is it like this, okay? Good, right, let's get on to the next one. The next one it is quite easy in movement, but difficult in maneuvering. So how do we do? What do we do? Let me just show you first. Remember, we have just standing up on one leg. So the next one we do is first step back just behind the supporting leg. As we step down, we bend the right knee. Okay, we step down slightly further so that we can make a turn 180 degrees. And then we bring the back heel in. And then we bring the front toes in. At the same time, we lower the top hand to the front of the chest. Raise the bottom hand to the front of the chest for what? To hold the ball. But how far do we turn? 180 degrees if it's possible. Okay. So we face that way. We turn all the way to there. 180 degrees. Still the same method. Step back. Heel in. Toes in. All right. Let's try that again. Ready? And then along the way, we bring the hands together in the front of our chest. Okay, ready? Step back one. Heel in. Toes in, hold the ball. Next one is pretty easy. Rise up and raise your knees. And then open arms and kick the heel. Okay. Now, you may notice there's a little bit difference compared to the last week last session, which when we did the two kicks, we actually flicked the foot or the leg up, flicked the leg up. But this time, we first raise the knee and then push out with the heel. This is called heel kick. So it is slightly different to the ones that we did, okay? So bear that in mind, all right? Let's do that together. Ready? Step back. Heel in, toes in, hold the ball. Raise your knees, stand up. Open arms and heel kick. And toes down first to get your balance, good. Okay, good, all right. So this is uh, another heel kick behind. So we were working from one side, da, 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 go this way. And then we do all this, and then all this. But then we now start turning back. Okay? So that's the best thing about Tai Chi, is although our space is still quite restricted because of the camera, but it still only requires a relatively small stretch of space. Okay? Because you'll be going one way so far, and then you work your way back. Okay? So, Let's do that once more before we get on to the next one because we've got a quite a few to do today. So we need to go through them quite quickly. All right, ready? From here. Step back, one. Turn, heel in, toes in, hold the ball. Rise up, heel kick. Toes down. Okay, good. Okay, good. Now, as we do this, when we do the heel kick, remember you lift up your knee. This is the time where we actually need the toes down first. Okay, before we tilt the toes up and outward kick out. 
Okay, I hope that makes sense to you. All right, good. Next one. Okay, how do we do the next one? Remember, we have done the waving hand. Two hands. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. But do you notice that hand, the hand that comes up from the bottom, it opens up. Forget about this one now. It opens up past the face like a rainbow and then move to the other side. So that's exactly what we do. One hand at a time. Okay, watch me. After we have kicked, the hand just go like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So we actually break what we call the waving hands like cloud into two halves. One hand first, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's all, okay? But it's a different names to it. This one is called Ye Ma Fen Zhong. Wild part the horse's mane, or part the wild horse's mane, okay? How do we do it? Let me show you from the camera so you can see it here. After we have kicked to that direction, the next two wave hand-like posture we call ye ma fen zong is to two sort of an angle, okay? So after kicking, put the foot down. Same thing as we did with the first one, waving hands. One, two, diagonal. Three, bow stands, four. Next one, one, step in two, three, step out, bow stands, four. Okay, so it's quite easy. Let's go back to there. The only thing you need to remember is, is two angles, about 30 up to 45 degrees. Okay, let's do the kick. Ready? Kick. One, step down. Two, step out. Forward three, open four. Hands down one. Step in, hands up two. Step out three. Hands open four. Excellent. Okay. So this is quite easy. In fact, as I say, is a waving hands like Klaus that we have just learned split into two hands. So each hand does this part separately. Okay. Let's do that one more time. Ready? Heel kick. Step down one. Step out two. Forward three and open four. Step in, hands down one, hands up two, step out three, open four. Excellent. Okay, so it is quite easy. All right, let's get on to the next one. Now, I know it's a bit fast. We're running a bit fast. But hopefully, we have a recording that it will be available very soon, and you can practice for many, many weeks before. Uh, we come to the last session, which we'll cover a bit more, okay? So let's get on to the next one. What is the next one? The next one, remember, we have just finished off stepping to the right angle with the arms open, okay? So don't worry about the step first. The hands, this is the right angle, all right? So what do I do? I slowly cross my hand downwards in front of my abdomen, with the right hand below, and then I bring both hands up to my face. Okay, and then I open back to where it was. But that's not the end yet. I carry on down, bigger circle, to the front of the abdomen again. This time I'm not gonna cross my hand. This time instead, I'm gonna turn my right hand over, and then I place my left, Fingertips on the on the right pulse. 
Okay. And then gently reach up and out. And then I turn to the side like the very beginning, remember? Block. Come in. Push. This is called Jin Bu Lan Zha Yi. Okay, it is a bit fiddly with the hands, but in fact, it's not really that complicated. We did that in the first one. Okay, so let's do that again. All right, ready? Cross hands with the right below. One. Raise both hands to the front of your face. Two. Open three. Come down to the abdomen. Turn your right hand and Touch pulse with the left fingertips. And then up and forward. Turn. Come in. Palms facing out on the right side. And push out. Okay. This is called Lan Zha Yi. Okay. Let's do that again. Okay. Ready? Now this time I'm not going to be, I'm going to be your mirror. All right. Ready? Cross with the right below, up to the face, open, down to the abdomen, turn the right palm and touch the right pulse, up and forward, log to 45, come in to the right chest, and then push out. Okay, good. What about the step? The step is like this. Let me just show you first. Okay, open. So, one. Twist and cross your legs. Twist your step. One. Move your weight forward. Two. Raise your hands. Three. Open. Step the back foot in. Four, touch pulse. Step out. Five, forward, follow. Six, step back. Seven, eight, nine. I'm going to do it from this side so you can see. All right? Watch me again. One, just Two, three, four, five, step, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, let's do that together, everyone. You ready? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, excellent. Okay, once more. All right. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. This is Jin Bu Lan Zha Yi. Okay. Now, let's do it one more time. And then we do the last two postures, and that'll be the end of our session. And then you can have a few minutes of uh, question time. All right? Are you ready? You can face me if you like. I'm going to face the angle so you can see, face the camera, so you can see how I do it. All right? You can face that direction, or you can face me to practice. And then hopefully when you go back and practice by yourself, you can do it to the correct direction. Okay, are you ready? One, two, forward, 
three, step in. Four, step out. Five, follow. Step back six, sit and turn seven. Come back eight, push nine. Excellent. What's the next posture? Next two. Easy. Kai he shou. Heel in. Toes in. Open kai. And that's it. Okay? Let's do that that way. Ready? From here. Turn. Heel in. Toes in. Kai. He. Okay, that's quite easy, isn't it? <laughs> okay, good. Uh, I think time is getting quite tight because I've got another training session coming in about five minutes. So I will leave it for today and hopefully the recording will be available very soon. And then hopefully you will spend some time and do some practice with it. Because remember, there's a saying, practice makes perfect. Okay, good. Thank you very much, everybody. Zhang uh, Laoshi, Hong Laoshi. If you would like to ask, anybody has any questions? This year. Yeah. Oh. I'm not sure what it means. Sorry, somebody. The knows. only difference is between repulsive monkey and brush key are the steps. Oh, right. Okay. No, actually, <laughs> they're a little bit more than that. She uh, said, uh, Miss Chang. Yeah. Uh, now, it looks very similar. But as you, uh, Mario, pointed rightly, stepping is slightly different. In, Number one, directions is not the same. Uh, brush knee twist step is this side or that side, okay? This side or that side. But repulse the monkey is front and back. You can see that here. And also stepping, you're right, you're right that the stepping is slightly different. When we step this side, we don't step as wide. But when we do repulse the monkey, we actually do it slightly differently because we step, step on a zigzag line. So in a way, we will be sort of a turning this way, move here, this way, yeah? And then this way and this way. So you can see we are moving across like repulse the monkey, okay? So the stepping is on a zigzag line as opposed to more or less straight. But repulse the monkey, there's two differences. Number three, the application, it is also slightly different. Uh, very good example. I've got a few very lovely ladies here today because they're going to come attend my uh, later sort of uh, sessions, uh, mailing. And I can give a quick uh, demonstration of the two differences in the, uh, okay, in the, uh, Repulse the monkey. For example, if Mei Ling, this is Mei Ling, everyone, if Mei Ling punches me here, repulses the monkey is block, strike. Okay, so this is brush and strike. It could be a punch, it could also be a kick. For example, if it's a kick, then what I do is I brush and then I strike. Brush knee, twist step. Okay. And what is repulse the monkey? Because we're going on a zigzag line. So what it means is we sort of presume Mei Link is punching me at an angle. Yeah. Then what do I do here is I block, but instead of striking her, I would actually divert her to the diagonal session and then use this hand to push, okay. So I follow her momentum and then, oh, sorry, I'm out of the screen. 
<laughs> Time for tea, you see. Okay, so it is slightly different in up. Thank you, Mailing. One brush knee twist step is to strike and block. Repulse the monkey is to try and divert to a slightly angular movement and push or hit back. Okay, so that is the slight difference. And that's why the stepping and the direction is slightly different. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Master thank you. thank you very much for your explanation. I saw Selena hands up. Selena, if you have any questions, just turn on your microphone and ask. Okay, I'm sorry, it's a mistake. I I, I did I did not ask. <laughs> I, I tried to win mistakenly. Okay, sorry about that. No problem. No problem. Oh. No other no questions. No more questions. Is that somebody make them? Uh, is that probably the same, isn't it? Yeah, okay. No worries. Oh, sorry. Okay, good. Okay. If nobody has any further questions, we will close the session today. Is that all right? Yeah, Master sure. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you, Miss Jang. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for everybody. Thank you for thank the you. wonderful lecture, Master Year. Uh, okay, so we will have the last session in December. Uh, we are looking forward to it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank have you, nice everyone. Day. Take care now. Bye. -bye. bye. bye. See ya. Bye bye now. Bye bye. bye. <laughs> See ya. Bye. <laughs> okay. Thank you.